This YouTube channel is different. Let's go! <laughs> I like to think of it as a reality TV show. Like, we want to be going bringing down cows, but little one's got to... No, no! Oh! And that wouldn't be so bad had it not overflowed and is now on the couch. Let's go. We will. We'll do the baby lamb later. We got to go move the bromance. The problem is, is, what I see doing really good on YouTube right now is, well, topical videos, high production, exciting. Like, uh, I'm not gonna break the internet, changing a kid's diaper, and getting a shot of me putting on my shoes. I like to think of this as a reality TV show, reality vlog. We gotta move this bromance, the steers and the bulls, and the ram down below. How's the hay bomb been? Been taking this winter to put them in a less productive pasture, feed them hay on it that adds organic new organic uh, matter and concentrated manure, and this place will come back better than it ever was. This is a show about our family who wants to live a healthier life. So we growing our own food and you're along for the process. We're just waiting on Lily. She's wanting to come help with Blaze. These guys are our beef this year. We'll be harvested in the fall. One, two, three, four, five. Well, six if you count that guy, but we probably won't harvest him in the fall. Here comes Lily and Blaze. This is going to be a lot of beef, and that's gonna come in handy this year as we quit the grocery store. This guy, by the end of it, he'll probably be 300, 350 pounds of meat in our freezer. Just this guy. My only concern with Blaze is they've never met Blaze. Are you gonna be a herding horse? Blaze. Okay, you have to watch. If they like come after him, we don't want. I'll just start to gallop. Blaze might just take off, you know, and might rear up. Who knows? Just gonna try the lone calf over there. Oh wow, look! She just heard it. <laughs> hey, you did it! She got us. Got the gate open. Heard him across the mountain, and then that down. Way? Oh no! Hey, huh. Huh. what's their hurry? <laughs> all right, well. They go right to the barn. Don't let them get on the silage tarp. Oh, they're gonna go all up in the garden. Not on the garden tarp. There they come back. They're actually not going too bad. We want them to go right up there. Stop. They're here on the edge. It's like they know what to do. Yeah. It's gonna be record breaking cold this week. Not thaw out in the afternoon. Our water system out there is dependent on water thawing out in the afternoon. So we're gonna bring them closer. A lot easier to manage. The pasture that needs hay bombing, a lot closer to the house. See this? It's just no soil here. That hay and manure is going to change that. Speaking of cold weather, I asked Rebecca, can we just take a break from vlogging next week? Hey, it's going to be so cold. I don't know if we're going to be able to do any exciting projects. I put myself under constant pressure to perform well to deliver value to you guys. Well, in getting them closer, We've also been able to put the horses out with them. Hey, that's a big idea. Henry, let's go. Let's go look at this mini egg. We leave the animals to do the work of the farm for us. Now we have to go do some work. Dana cannot do. Well, this is bad. The track is off the mini X. What's your idea to get it back on? We lift this whole side up. Oh. And then we put it on. Okay. That's good, right? You think we're gonna move now? I would say this is impossible. The boys don't think so. I like they're bigger. Piece of dirt frozen in one of these holes. Oh. This is just so much to do on this. Okay, what do you want to do? We have to get this rough dirt out of here. Still got a long way before we stretch that over that. There's all this slack track hanging down. It's so heavy, it's hard to pull it. We're out here trying to put this track back on. Yeah. This right here, you're on it. New idea, pull the treads that way while Josiah maneuvers the machine to get it back on. Okay, slow down! Let him get up. Oh, oh. Hey, let's call it. Hey, let's get some professionals. Stop. And this is a great instance 
to give up. This is when it's totally okay to give up. We're gonna get a professional out here on this oh before somebody gets hurt. So when I get pressure to, to make these shows exciting, Becca always says, and reminds me, this is what homesteading is. That's our service to you, is at least showing our reality, one reality of a homestead life. You certainly don't necessarily finish a day. A day doesn't always have a happy ending. Like, we couldn't fix that track, so we're not gonna be able to clear today. Besides not giving up that easy. Let's go to YouTube for some instruction. You need a bar, this is just a simple chisel bar. You can buy at any local hardware store or tool store. You have your operator fire the machine up. And if you slide your bar just a little ways in, you begin, you're gonna be able to put pressure down. It looks like all we gotta do is loosen, loosen the tensioner on it, Josiah, so the, the wheels that hold the track on can expand in, and we can actually get the track around it. I'd already texted Mark, and he said he's on his way, and so he'll know what to do too. And we're back. This time with Mark. dirt out of here for this to come in. Trying to get it to push it yet, break it dirt up. We loosen that grease fitting and that allows the wheel to come in and take pressure off of it. Look at that. We need to get that dirt out of there. Yep. Yeah. When we take that grease pressure off, it just moves back and forth, doesn't it? Yep. Pushing oh, grease out. Yep. Yep. We gotta get it, the track around those teeth. We're on the gear back there, good. We're getting it close. Oh, wow. yes. wait, wait, How do you do it? Oh, you moved the machine into it. Donna got it on there. It's on, it's on there now. Because so I and I were hooking up the winch and well, Mark was just finagling it in. We missed the whole yeah. shot. Putting the grease fitting back in. I got the grease gun. You have a lot of grease in your grease gun? I have an extra two. Uh, I'm okay. starting to think we weren't going to get that. Talk it to it. Kind of crazy to think grease is going to lift this tr big old heavy trap. He's starting to tug on it now. We got it tight, but not tight enough. Ran out of grease. Going to see if he can't. It's not tight enough to maybe get down to the road. He's got more grease down in his truck. So far, so good. Got an air compressor grease gun. That's the only way. That's going to do it, huh? You found some mud. Well, the air compressor did it. In today's episode of Burn It Up Cooking Show, crispy baked chicken. I am on a mission to figure out how to make chicken crispy when baking it. There's nothing worse than working hard to homegrown your own chicken and the chicken end up being slimy. First thing we're gonna do is dry it off. That's what the interwebs say. Take some liquefied animal fat, in this case some smalls, chicken fat, salt, thyme, black pepper. And the trick I haven't yet tried, a 400 degree oven. 400 is the new 375. While that cooks, let me show you guys something peculiar. See this, this is the craziest thing. It looks like it's balancing out a little bit. You know, we thought he was born deformed, but maybe you're all right. Maybe you're just a little weak. Look how he's, uh, his back end's higher than his front end. You're a little crippled, but you're gonna make it. <laughs> you're just as tame as can be. Afraid Nacho's throwing some bad genetics. We're in the market for a new ram lamb, especially after the summer, him, him getting lame like he did. You are cute though. You're gonna make it. You're a survivor. Oh yeah, look at that, his back, uh, Left leg doesn't work good. It's out of joint or something. This guy. <laughs> He's feeling good. Now, let's test this. Okay, okay. 400's where it's at. We crisped up this chicken. Tell me that ain't crispy, Dar. Oh, it's nice. Is it crispy, Hen? Yes. Could we arrange a sledding trip to... I want to see somebody eat this crispy chicken. Did you do one thumbs up or two? 
He does two, Justin. Oh, two, that, two thumbs, thumbs up. up. Would you say we won or lost today? We, we did won. get the track back on, but we got no clearing done. We got, we split a ton of wood. We split a ton of wood. Oh, we got, and we got the chicken crispy. Mm. All you gotta do is so cook good. it at 400. Yeah. It wouldn't be the burn it up cricket show without mm. high heat all the time. That's a wrap. Happy day, y'all. <laughs>